Bismillahir Rahman Rahim Today we are going to discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of education technology So let's start our lesson Today our main focus will be on two things So what are the main two things that the first one is what are the advantages of education technology and the second point is that what are disadvantages of education technology the student as we know that computers and the related technology are essential to the learning process in several ways although uh, some of the people feel that uh, the use of technology can have a negative impact on the socialization and development of critical thinking skills of the young children and adolescents and maybe misused by some instructors they are of fundamental and significant tools used in classrooms and workforce and foster a greater understanding of the diverse cultures simons in 2000s he stated in his research that technology can be a crucial tool to improve students learning he pointed out that uh, the quality of public education could be improved by utilizing web to individualize instruction creating a learning opportunities for teachers to enhance in collegial sport email and facilitating better home school communication through email and website information so clearly technology enhances education and becomes increasingly essential tool for learning so students development of basic academic skills improves with the use of technology especially for at risk development especially uh, at risk for of the students. students access to the internet and uh, uh, distance learning opportunities promote uh, the relevant learning experiences irrespective of uh, geographic restrictions and improve students and teacher access to information finally uh, technology especially through the video conferences promotes a greater understanding of the other cultures so now we discuss that what are the main advantages like uh, we have seen that people can use the internet to speak and communicate with the family and friends so you know that we can communicate with the friends we can discuss like uh through this video i am telling you i am clarifying each and everything about the advantages and disadvantages of education technology the other advantage that uh, we may use this laptop for creating different softwares like we can use different uh, uh, softwares like visual studios like uh, uh, the other languages that we are using in creating different softwares so all this is due to technology that if we don't have technologies and uh, we can't manage these things the other advantage is that to each and everything we can type uh, we can write down and we can save it at our computers so uh, this is again an advantage of this technology the other advantage is that it gives us the latest and updated information in the form of news that uh, today nowadays we can uh, see our channels through smart tv through internet at our screen just by sitting at home so this is all possible due to this technology the other doubt is that normally we are using different mobiles we mean cell phones that a greater helps in case of any emergency that in case of an emergency we can call to our relatives we can call to our friends and we can discuss the different problems immediately to the other persons the next is that less energy is used that just we are using this technology and with the help of this technology we use only that amount of uh, energy that we require and like in our kitchens meals can be cooked quickly that this is also possible due to this technology normally we are using in our homes uh, the use of different technological equipments and appliances that those are being used by the electricity or uh, somewhere some other energies so basically uh, technology is helping us in uh, utilizing our um, uh, that amount of energy that we require 
The other advantage is that calculator, that with the help of calculator we can solve different mathematical problems. The other advantage is that if we do some mistakes, so we can erase. Now here, remember that technology doesn't mean that we have some technological or we have some electronic equipments. So all those things which can be used for our uh, means. So or the things which is helping us to do something in education. So that is called educational technology. The other advantage is that it can produce sounds from analog and digital recording. So this is one of other advantages. Now here are some disadvantages that it can viruses that leads uh, losing important data. It can cause your serious health problems that if you are sitting in front of your computer. So if you sit for a long time that it may damage your eyes, it may damage your health. So uh, this is one of the it, it can uh, damage like uh, I have explained that it can damage your eyesight and uh, sometime the children or uh, we also sit in front of uh, screens for many uh, for a long time to play something to watch something uh, like movies like games and so on so this is also having some Im impact or effect on our health so they can distract people around the world like if we are using such type of equipments uh, in our daily life like in our marriages or other different ceremonies so it can distract the people living around them like we are using calculator so on the other sides if on one side we we can solve our problems very immediately but on the other uh, aspect of this technology is that the students become lazy they don't want to take uh, work with their minds due to short period of cooking uh, this also import a lot of uh, those things which are harming our health. This comes getting into accidents. So this is advantage that although we are using vehicles, we are using uh, different uh, technology for our convenience. convenience but uh, this is uh, uh, helping us. Although these are very helpful, but on the other hand, if we see the accidents, so um, uh, due to the uh, different. Uh, like uh, due to the dif different angles if we observe this so uh, this can harm in our daily lives also uh, so uh, some people get so much addicted to cell phones for talking best in games and video and recording and they forget the real purpose of cell phone we don't know that what are the real purpose of cell phone daily or for many times we are sitting in front of our cell phones and we are uh, doing chit chat, TikTok, and whatever we have in our cell phones. So, uh, this is a large amount of time that we are wasting through this technology. Nothing more can be distracting for a teach in the classrooms wherein the students' phone rings. Okay. I tell you that some of the main benefits of using technology in our classrooms like it improves engagements and improves knowledge education, it encourages the individual learning, it encourages collaboration students can learn useful skills life skills through technology so it also has a good benefits for the teachers also now if we talk about few other advantages so i can tell you that uh, if we discuss the advantages then technology helps children to stay motivated during the learning process how most students don't like to go to schools if they feel like they are wasting their time so when there is a technology allowed in the classrooms then teachers have an opportunity to let kids work at pace which suits them the best without disturbing others so they can look up additional information about the subject that or learning about that day The other advantage is we can uh, say that it encourages more communication between te teacher and parents. Like when there is a technology in the classrooms, then there are more opportunities for teachers and parents to connect with each other. Using a blog for the classrooms can help parents to get see so what their children are learning each day. Apps and software options are there. 
so uh, let's not forget about email here either since the 1990s when the this technology options came to the classrooms so it created more reliability in messaging between teachers and parents technology options in the classrooms are very affordable like in these days we are observing that uh, uh, what are the what is the homework of the students the teachers are communicating to the parents and parents are getting uh, daily updates from their teachers the internet is the first technology since it's the printing press which could lower the cost of great education and in doing so make the cost benefit analysis much easier and more students this is said by john catspan he said that it could allow american schools to serve twice as many students as they do not and in ways that are both effective and cost effective other advantage is that it creates new ways to learn for students today that if we have technology that we can find out the other ways like uh, we can uh, we see a students today that they are emotional they are creative they are instructional in the traditional classroom uh, environments which don't give such type of uh, facilitations to the students so technology allows children to enhance their curiosity in the multiple ways so they can try new things without embarrassment because their each access gives them a level of anonymity this process allows kids to work to oh, level yeah. of if they wish to see if the different strategies help them to learn more effectively so technology allows us to give students access to data from a single location that we can use emails like we can use uh, any websites from where we can access like uh, different universities have a different uh, softwares they are uh, working on it and uh, the students are accessing uh, from that software like virtual university have their own system like kohli uh, university that is having their own system so students are getting information from that system so this is also uh, possible with the help of technology so uh, now i would discuss few of the disadvantages in the technology education like the presence of technology can be distracting to students that when uh, gets when kids play video games they can find themselves reacting with addiction like behaviors their focus is on the entertainment they receive more than anything else if the education environment use reward based games to encourage learning so that the children might be more concerned with what they receive through the software or apps instead of what they are learning although the correct answers can be an indication of the knowledge there might not be as much information retention as hoped teacher must set and enforce healthy boundaries when using technology in the classrooms technology can make it easier to cheat this is one of the disadvantage of education technology like remember the tv shows and movies where kids would break into the teachers classrooms steal the answer key to the test and then write on everything on their wrist shoe or a slip or of paper now a students can send themselves a text with that information they can send their data to anyone else just with the phone email can rela- relay this in for two is there must also be a strict rules in the place about the technology during quizzes or test when an exact measurement of the student knowledge is needed to evaluate their overall progress so using technology can cause some students to disconnect from the classrooms because students think that uh, we can see we can uh, download the lectures we can uh, study in your in your uh, in their own times so this is uh, what that creating the distance between students and classrooms so some students may not know the difference between reliable and unreliable sources because most of the things that are at internet that are no those are not authentic 
because those are not approved by the teachers teachers are to be considered the most experienced and concerned personalities so that's why what they speak or what they inform to the students so those can be taken authentic for the learning technology is a source that is but not all families can afford the technology in the classrooms or at home there is an issue of affordability to worry about in today's world some house holds can't be afford to purchase computers for their kids to manage their school work so there are school districts that don't have enough money to pay their salaries each year so much less a new tech components for learning so some technologies could replace the teacher in some classrooms how that interactive learning lessons are so effective today that the software or applications can become the teacher instead of having someone present to help the students so one of the best example of this potential disadvantages of abc mouse which provides clear instructions to student as young as 3 so that they can start learning when they are ready so technology in the classrooms could create a medical problem from some kids like eye strain circles when you look at the computer screen for too long symptoms of this issue include back pain eye pain neck pain feeling of tiredness blurred vision and problems with focus so continuous heavy computer uses may lead to issues with early myopia with the prevalence rate of more than 60% of those older than the age of 12 for some people the impact of this health issue is cumulative which means the time that they spend in front of phone tablets and televisions can contribute to eye health issues as well children sit for too long during the day to do the day so they then they face the same health challenges that adults do when not getting enough exercise they can be problems with obesity hyper activity muscle fatigues sleeping problems and metabolism issues with prolonged sittings that's why any school that introduce technology to the classrooms should also encourage at least 30 minutes of moderate physical activity wherever or whenever possible yes student this was all about today But what are the disadvantages and advantages of education technology? Hopefully, you have understood each and everything. So, if you understand anything, so you can comment in my comment sections of this video. Stay with me and subscribe my channel for more updates about education. lectures and hopefully you will enjoy with me inshallah take care allah hafiz